Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Sunday, a little after 3 p.m. I'm at the W District here in Prakanong. It's empty right now. This is a nighttime spot, but it's fun. I've shown this in other videos. Holy smokes, one of my favorite uh, barbecue spots in town. I think they have a larger restaurant up in the Soy 49 area. But this uh, W is all street food style. But as you can see, a lot of these places are closed up right now. This is an evening place over here is uh the bar so just sit at a table or go eat your go order your food and they'll give you a little buzzer and then they'll rush over and uh bring you a beer smoothie whatever you'd like but for for now we're gonna go out the uh, side exit and probably the main street here is uh Sugavit soy 71 i'm not super familiar with 71 i've i've been up the street many times but there's a little section I've gone through on a motor taxi. This is really good Mexican food. A couple of times, my friend lives back there. So heading over to her place, and this motor taxi would take me up this little side street and I'm going to try to find it. We were normally on the bike coming from the Ekamai area, not Sukhumvit, so I know it's on the other side of the street here. It was just a series of uh, six-story buildings now from here to the Prakanong BTS less than a 10 minute walk probably a five minute walk the only problem is the Soy 71 it's a busy street that's Sukhumvit at the end and you can see the BTS tracks I might have to walk down there to the light to get across I don't think there is a, a walk bridge to to get over and I want to get down to that other side Somewhere off behind these buildings are those uh, six-story buildings I'm interested in. Well, there's a crosswalk straight ahead. Now, crosswalks are a little sketchy. Don't uh, expect anybody to slam their brakes on for you. And, and please, please, please look in all directions. Like right now, the traffic is going this way. So it would make common sense to look here and then step out and then get nailed by a motorbike going the wrong way up against the curb it happens all the time oh and the mad bulldog pub and grub right at the top of 71 we're not missing much by cutting through the w district down on the right is i want to say a pizza hut but yeah there's not a whole bunch right here on the other side of the street there's a little uh, market tucked away and across the way Oh, what is the name of that building? Yeah, I can't see. But uh, on the other side is uh, Soy 48. I used to stay at The Life on 48. That was my go-to Airbnb for years. 2015, 16, 17, I stayed in the same apartment. But we're exploring a little bit of uh, 71 or off of 71. I've walked 71 and, and filmed it all the way down a mile or two. And it's, uh, it's just what you see a busy street there's a couple of buildings tucked away back there but I sure wouldn't call it a, a nice quiet area it's busy but this one street off to the right it was nice and mellow so let me see if I can find it now I've never hung out in here but here's the Paradiso sports bar okay I made my way across the street now this is uh, soy 71 soy 2 pretty authentic Thai feel We're walking up 71 just a little bit more. I could be way off and it's way down the way, but I really want to find that street. There were uh, six, eight pretty interesting looking buildings. It'd be a little bit of a walk to Prakanong and you'd have to deal with uh, getting across this busy street, but not everybody, including myself, is commuting and heading to the train every single day. Just a lot of very authentic Thai shops, tailors. Here's a, here's a young lady sitting there with her sewing machine. Lebanese food. Coming up on Soy 4. I don't think this is the street, but I'm gonna take a look anyhow. I see a couple of small buildings. I did, like many, expats just headed straight to a large high-rise and I wanted a, a nice high unit on and on 
Okay, I've did that two or three times now, so I'm okay with uh, maybe finding a cool brick six-story building. I, I mean, I'll stay where I'm at if everything works out with uh, renewing my lease, keeping the same rent and all. I'll definitely stay there another year or two. I, I love my building. But there's nothing wrong with uh, some of these other buildings that uh, you might get a lot of space for your, your dollar. I don't know what this is down on the left, but... I'm never going to learn unless I get out here and walk it. I see a lot of traffic heading around that corner, so I'm guessing it hooks into Sukhumvit. And here's uh, just some uh, kind of no-frills buildings. There's every option for affordable living in Bangkok. I'm not sure what this is straight ahead. Maybe a school? I do see a building tucked away back there. Maybe in between Soy 2 and 4. Yeah, it says school zone. Let's go see what this building is tucked away back here. Now, I, I had uh, skipped up from Soy 2 to Soy 4, but now I'm backtracking. And off in the distance, you can see the Life building popping up. That's where I stayed. That's Life 48 on the other side of Sukhumvit. I really like that building. Short walk to the BTS, less than 10 minutes. But yeah, that, uh, that little side of uh, Prakanang was home base for a long time, for me anyhow. Okay, we've gone in a big circle, made our way back to Soy 2, off of 71. And I wanna try to find that uh, one building. Yeah, I don't think I've ever walked up this little section. Here's a Lotus Go Fresh. Lotus, one of the main grocery stores. Lotus Big C. And Go Fresh is uh, in between a 7-Eleven and a grocery store size-wise. Here's pizza. Okay, yeah, that's a nice building. I'll try to find the name. Okay, I guess it's the Happy Place Tower. So check out the Happy Place Tower. Soy 2 off of 71, maybe 10 stories high. And I'm starting to think that little side soy is further up 71 than I remember. So maybe I'll uh, go find that on another day. It's hot and I really don't feel like walking uh, a half hour up there and I'll just have to jump on a motorbike and do it. Yeah, let's explore what's uh, down Soy 2. I see another building straight ahead, the Nest. You'll find different nest properties all over town. There's all kinds of little buildings tucked away back here. And getting an idea where we are, if you were to stay at that happy building, that round top restaurant is the W District. And just beyond that, a less than five minute walk is Prakanong BTS. So you're not super close, but you're not terribly far. The next BTS in this direction is quite a ways. It's on Newt, and it's uh, a kilometer and a half, maybe two kilometers. Yeah, a solid two. There seems to be a lot of uh, Indian folks walking around. So maybe this is uh, a local community. Indian tourists, they seem to love Soy 11. And um, one of my favorite hangouts, Soy 22. A lot of Indian tourists hang out at the uh, Marriott Marquis. Now those are folks with money. That is not a cheap hotel anywhere in the world. But it's cheaper here in Bangkok than, uh, say, the Marquis in Tokyo or New York City. So that's the nest, Sukhumvit 71. And I see the highway straight ahead. That well, highway. That might be Sukhumvit. I'm not positive. Let me walk up there because I am uh, not familiar with this area. I've lived up in this area, but just kind of blasted through on the uh, the BTS. I've never walked down here. I didn't even know this nest was here. It's uh, six stories tall, but there look to be hundreds of units. And here's some type of store. I've never seen this CJ. So 
So let's see what this is straight up ahead. I'm, I'm guessing that's Sukhumvit, but it may not be. I do know there's a toll road that shoots off of uh, the Sukhumvit area there. And that might be the toll road. I'm not sure how far I've walked. And, and sometimes you think you're walking kind of in a straight line and it's going off in an angle. Because I thought I was running parallel with, with Sukhumvit. I think that's the highway though. They're moving pretty quick. And if so, there's a, a bit of water. Yeah, okay, that's where we're at. So there's water under this highway. I think there is a bridge to walk over towards on Newt. So maybe I'll figure that out on the ground. Okay, so this is the highway, which means Sukhumvit will be off in that direction. So I'm curious as to this nest. Surely there's a way to connect over to uh, Sukhumvit. But I'm going to have to figure it out. Yeah, there's all kinds of buildings back here. I've, uh, I lived just on the other side. If, if that's the building I think it is, I lived on the other side on Soy 77. But I've never walked it down here. First step first, let's see uh, how that nest connects in. And then maybe I'll come back here and, and see what, uh, what's going on with these buildings. Okay, in a typical Bangkok fashion, there's no way to take a ride. It's just going left under the highway. So I'm going to walk back just because I'm super curious now. And that nest is right there. I'm going to walk through that nest. And see if I can get to it from Sukhumvit. Some BTS stations are just closer than others. To walk in between, say, a Sok and Prom Pong or, or Prom Pong and Tong Long, it's not that big a deal. From uh, Prakanong to An Nut. That's probably one of the longer runs. So this area, I'm at, ah, I'm right in the middle. I would probably walk to Prakanong, but uh, yeah, you, you need to pick your spots where your building is. It could be real close to Sukhumvit, but in between two train stops, so you still have a, a good hike down to the train. Again, this is only important if you're commuting, riding that train every day during the rainy season, during the heat. If, if you're just jumping on the train four or five times a week, me, I probably get on the train, I don't know, 20 times a week. And I have about an eight minute walk, so it's not that big a deal. But if I were heading to the office at 6.30 every morning, I would probably make an effort to be as close to that train as I could. And do my walks when I feel like feel like it, not because uh, I have to go to work. All right, so this is a little bit further that from Sukhumvit than I thought, because this is the nest, and I was hoping it would just pop out on one side. But uh, so much for that theory. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go into the nest and and see where it goes. I guess we are kind of tucked away back here on Soy 2. We're, we're a little ways from, uh, yeah, it just dead ends. So there's three towers. Okay, so so much for my theory that the nest maybe popped through on uh, Sukhumvit. And if that building is the base, then I kind of know where I'm at. But let me walk down there and, and figure it out. I know there's a bridge that even living back on Soy 77 a, a year, I never took that bridge from the other side of my building, which was the Knights Bridge on Soy 77. On the other side was the base. I'm wondering if that's the base, and I forget the name of this building. No, nah. no, nah, because that's the highway. That building was uh, closer to Soy 77. So I'm just out getting lost. Still, I'm on uh, Soy 71 or Sukhumvit 71, Soy 2, all the way at the end by uh, the toll road. We're gonna go up here and take a left and see what is back here. I'm definitely uh, getting lost in the neighborhood today. So I'm back up to the 7-Eleven where I started and backtracked to the nest. I'm gonna go under the highway or toll road, whatever it is, just to get my boundaries. Because I'm twisted around from uh, how far Sukhumvit is. If I can see that life building, I know that's on Sukhumvit Soy 48. 
Come on, car, where are you going? Okay, I could see the life or a spire building popping out, so that's Sukhumvit way down there. And I have no idea where this goes. But I'm going to go over here and, and get my boundary, and then I want to come back and explore what these buildings are. All right, I think I know where I'm at now. That is the building which is on Soy 77, the base, I think. And I was thinking, see how they're kind of the same color? I was thinking that was the base. But no, the base is uh, on Soy 77. Huh, yeah, I'm definitely going to come back and explore this little area. But let's go see what these two buildings are and then make our way back over here to the highway. Now, Tuk Tuk went by. There's always the option of uh, catching the condo Tuk Tuk to the BTS. I never did. My building was a little ways when I lived in on Newt and... Uh, that tuk-tuk just had weird hours. It, whatever, it took off on the half hour during a rush hour and every hour during the day. And that never seemed to uh, fit my time schedule. So 99% of the time, I just walked. If I, if I walked outside and it, it was sitting there with people getting ready to go, I jumped in it. But yeah, I didn't plan my, my day around it. So you'll have to make that decision. I'm just saying that because... Uh, some realtors might say, oh yeah, this is tucked away back here pretty far from on new, but don't worry, they have a shuttle. So this is the Vista Garden Condominium. Huh, a lot of people over here uh, playing volleyball under the highway. Yeah, I wasn't uh, familiar with this area at all and I lived less than a half a mile away. Vista Garden. Wood-fired pizza, pasta, and steak. A little fancy street food stand right in front of the other uh, condo. Hi. And washing. Massage. And one more complex tucked away back here. And this looks like a uh, toll booth straight ahead. I think this is the road. Yeah, in fact, I know it is. This is the road that comes off of Sukhumvit to get onto the toll road straight ahead and then you can go off in different directions I would jump on that road I think to head off towards the other toll road that goes to Sawanapum so it says it's the Nia by San Siri building the pier is very new in fact there's uh, guys with flags out front they're usually the uh, salespeople. see here's the little buses to get to uh, from your condo to the BTS but yeah, they never worked out for me. I mean, if that bus took off every 15 minutes, I know that's a little unreasonable. That's one thing. Now, here's a self-storage. I don't recommend keeping a bunch of junk in storage, but I've even halfway considered, hey, maybe moving down to uh, Jump Tien or something for whatever it is, six months in between leases. Stick my office chair and rugs and ironing board and all the junk, not really... Uh, knickknacks and I, I'm a pretty minimalist guy but you still need an iron so maybe uh, sticking things in a little closet size storage and heading up to Chiang Mai for a while would suit me I'm kind of way far away now from Prakanong BTS this is definitely just out exploring and I still want to explore the other side of the uh, highway here and make my way back over towards on Newt 77 on that, that little hidden bridge I never took. But I'm curious as to uh, where everybody's going around the corner. Okay, here's another 7-Eleven. And I think this is probably the end of Soy 4. I was on Soy 4 and I went back to Soy 2. Okay, shoot. I just keep finding things. So there's another building tucked away there. So let's go see what that is. But... I am going to stick my head in here and get a bottle of water. So as I'm sitting in the 7-Eleven looking off at the distance to that building, which I thought was the base, I'm realizing I don't think that is the base. So that's another building in between 71 and 77. I'm going to get out and uh, double back to that 7-Eleven at the end of Soy 2, go under the toll road and figure out what that is. 
once I head over in this direction and see what that small building is. I just hate walking away from a potential building I might want to know about. Who knows when the next time I'll be uh, out walking around. Maybe at some point I'll get a motorbike and uh, zip all around the city. But for now, I'm just happy on foot power. And if you want to figure out exactly where I'm at, your guess is kind of as good as mine. Here's a place called TK Salon. You can perhaps Google. I'm at the end of Soy 4 off of Sukhumvit 71, in between 71 and the highway. Once again, I thought those two buildings off in the distance were the ones on 77, but I don't think they are. I'm going to find out after I see what this building is down here. I'm probably... Uh, walking a mile in reverse just to see what this small building is but I have nothing better to do and I appreciate you uh, following along this walk around Bangkok I know many people including myself like to watch these videos planning their move over or their retirement or even their visit how you doing <laughs> this is a good guy It's a pretty nice little neighborhood over here on the side of the uh, highway. And there goes uh, probably that apartment building's bus. And like that guy giving me the thumbs up, that's of course another option. Just jump on a motorbike. Head from here to... I'm not sure if on Newt or Prakanong is, is actually closer. Probably on, on Newt by this point. And with all this traffic... I'm thinking there's a, another way to get under that highway up here, so maybe I'll discover that. I'm out just uh, exploring around. Nah, it looks like they're heading off to the left, maybe just using this as a shortcut to make their way down Soy 71 with a little less traffic. So here we are, the Excel Hideaway, Sukhumvit 71. I've heard of this building advertised, just uh, six stories. They look to be smaller units, and you can see we're uh we're kind of a long ways from 71 but that's just how it rolls it's uh 71 slash one two three four that kind of thing but the hideaway excel so i am going to plug the camera in and uh give a chance to recharge because i have about a 10 minute walk back towards those larger buildings and then i'm going to cross back under that uh highway or, or toll road whatever it is and see what's going on on the other side there goes a couple of Harley guys. Yeah. So they're heading out to Soy 2. This is where we uh, head back into the neighborhood. That's the Nest Building. At the end of Soy 2. Now I'm going to try not to get hit here. I'm going to cross the street and head under the highway. And down at the end of Soy 2 is Soy 71. That's the main Prakagnong Street. And I know the main... Next large street is Soy 77, that's on Newt. So I'm not sure if there's a 73 or 75, there is. I'm not sure where they are, or if they're just a little tiny thing off of Sukhumvit. But we're going under this bridge, and I know there's a, because I've looked out my window many a time from uh, Soy 77 across the way towards the base building, and I see a street that connects over there. I just, uh, rarely ran across 77 you'll see why there's so much traffic at the end of this video I'm probably gonna go get a haircut on the other side over there by the big C and yeah it's kind of a mess so whether that's the base or not I will find out whatever it is still need to identify that uh, large building in the on nude area and this kind of looks like a cool little cool little area I think it's gonna take me off to the left and towards that bridge but I won't know till I get there. I don't think this is the entrance, probably an emergency exit or maybe even for cars. Yeah, I see a car pulling out here, so I'm assuming that is uh, going to tell me what this large building is on the side of the toll road. Let's go ahead and walk up this way. And it looks like we have kind of a long walk down to the end of the road there, and then we'll maybe hit that access to get over towards Soy 77. I know there's a little neighborhood on the side of 
under the toll road over here on the side of Sukhumvit. There's an animal hospital, that kind of thing. But it does not look like there's an easy way to get there from here. So let's just go check out all these condo options on the way towards 77. And I have a, no idea what this is. It says Bangkok Prep is down here, but there's a whole bunch of activity. Now it does say it's the base, but this is not the base on Soy 77. Unless I'm totally twisted around. That wouldn't be unusual though. There's uh, many bases and this says it's the base over here. So a couple of towers and huh, they got a whole little community back here. There's a subway, something that just says beer, the Boots Pharmacy. Yeah, I had no idea this was back here. Okay. No, I am getting confused because this says the base, Sukhumvit 77, that's probably that building. And um, the blocks, yeah, that is directly across from the big C. Yeah, I had no idea this was here. So perhaps the base is four gigantic buildings, and I'm just familiar with the one on uh, Soy 77. This says Park East Sukhumvit 77, but we're still kind of a ways from 77 if my boundaries are correct huh yeah I had I had no idea I knew there was a bridge that went over the way so maybe that is the blocks I'm not positive but we're gonna find out let's see what's in here pet friendly mall cafe Amazon coffee barbershop subway Starbucks yeah there's a whole uh, there's a whole little community small mall back here of uh, different restaurants and all for all these people that live in these condos yeah this is all new to me and I, I lived not far from here just on the other side of the other base so this is the base Park West the other one was Park East and I'm not sure what the other one is called if it's just the base on Suvit 77 and I actually looked at a unit in that building and I'm doing it all backwards and I've never been back here but I think this is the building I or the building the road I looked down on I might have wandered up to this road once a year and a half ago but I never walked from my condo back here say all the way to Prokognong like I I did uh, today Okay, yeah, that's definitely heading off in the direction of uh, Busy Soy 77, so getting our boundaries. Sukhumvit would be over here. In fact, that, ah, what is the name of that tower? That is almost at the top of Soy 50 on the even side of Sukhumvit. And then as we go down the way, yep, there you go. You can see the Life 48 building and the Prokognog BTS. Okay, you can see the round top of... Uh, whatever that restaurant is at the W District, and Prokognong is uh, on the other side of that. So BTS on Newt, okay, way off in the distance, you can see a little small, it's not small, it's just a long way away. That's the new Ramada Hotel and Condos. That is about where BTS on Newt is. So yeah, we're closer to on Newt, but I certainly wouldn't want to do that uh, walk every morning. You'd jump on one of these uh, orange vested motorbikes or wait for that condo. The only problem with the condo bus is they fill up. Oftentimes those little buses, there's only one, and they'll take eight, I don't know, nine people you can jam in that thing, but there might be a line of uh, 25 people standing there at uh, eight in the morning. So look up that Habito community mall and the other base towers. I had no idea that was, was back there. I was just familiar with uh, if you said I live on the base in on Newt, I would have assumed you meant that building because that's the only one I knew of. But 77 has a ton of condos. I forget what that building is, if it's the Artemis. And then there's this complex going all down 77. Then you'll hit the People's Park Market. I'm walking over this steel bridge. And we do have a large clong. I, to the best of my knowledge, the water taxis do not come up this far. I think they stop in Prokognong. But I could be wrong on that. I know I've never caught a water taxi up here. Okay. Is that my building? Yep. 
that's the building I lived in right there. I'm just unfamiliar with that uh, that orangey kind of marking on top. It, it's uh, but that's my pool hanging out. That's the old Knights Bridge on Sokovit 77. Lived there a year. Loved it. Just off in that direction, you can see the Big C sign sticking out. That's where I'm heading. My barber's right on the side of the Big C. So I'll tell you what, from this Habito little mall area, nice and quiet back here, these two buildings, or, or even the base, I walked from that building, the Knights Bridge, to the BTS every day, didn't give it a second thought. So just add another four minutes from this direction, 11 minutes maybe to the BTS. The only problem is, I'll show you when we get up there, getting across 77, why there isn't a... A walkway above the traffic I don't know because there's two others down the slower end of soy 77 they really need one by the big C there's a crosswalk but you'll see you kind of have to wait until uh, how do I put it ten people are ready to cross the road and then they just all have to step out into traffic and have everybody slam their brakes on if, if you do that on your own you're it's dangerous I mean one car might stop and then a motorbike just could come out of nowhere. I don't mean to uh, keep talking bad about uh, the crosswalks and all. It's just a fact that uh, they don't really stop for pedestrians. Uh, they just don't. <laughs> Traffic is just too busy. I don't know what it is. Pedestrians are expected to wait for a break in the action. And that's just not going to happen on a busy street like uh, straight ahead here. Sukhumvit, Soy 77. Okay, and I was correct. Here's the base, Sukhumvit 77. And then you have the base park east and park west. There's a Porsche. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the only base over here I was familiar with on 77. I looked at a unit up there two years ago. Super affordable, I want to say. It was a smaller one bedroom. 30 square meter maybe, but it was like 13,000 baht. Now don't quote me on prices. That was... Uh, a little over two years ago. And there's my building just across the way. The Knights Bridge. In there I paid 16,000 baht for a 32 square meter. It was a higher floor. I want to say I was on the 26th floor. So now we need to get across Soy 77, which is uh, not going to be fun, but we're at least going to walk up to the crosswalk across from the big C and uh, go with a go with a group now if, if a muck happens to be crossing the street yeah everybody's gonna slam the brakes on me I think sometimes they speed up there's my Knights Bridge you'll find these all over uh, town but this is uh, where I called home for my first year when I moved over and I would live there again in a second. I'm just happy up in, in uh, Prom Pong because that's where I hang out. Now this is the Blocks building. One of my buddies lives in here. He made the same complaint. Yeah, I have a big C right across the way, but ooh. And yeah, see these folks, they're, they're gonna go for it without a crosswalk. That's a real bad idea. But here's the Blocks. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, but uh, Let's see who's gonna. Yeah, they kind of, they kind of tap the brakes for them. But uh, this is actually very slow traffic. Sometimes this is just bumper to bumper. Hey, so there you go. There's a little Sunday afternoon exploration in between. Well, what turned out uh, to be from Soy 71 down to Soy 77. I thought I was heading up 71 to find those uh, those little apartments on 71. Ended up making my way all the way over here to 77. That's just how it goes. I, I had no idea I would find all that back there. So if getting lost around town and uh, finding new places, maybe even in a city you live, is something that interests you, consider subscribing to my little channel. You take it easy and have a nice afternoon.